<clears throat> Hi, welcome back, Team Fit. And um, what I'm going to do in this video is uh, show you how to calculate your uh, resting heart rate and also the heart rates that you need to be using during your workouts um, for your warm up, for fat burning, or for fitness training. Okay, now we're going to use a, a method called the Carbonin system. Um, or heart rate reserve method. Okay, this is by far the most accurate uh, way of uh, getting your heart rate measured. Okay, so what we're going to do for this one? Okay, I'm going to guide you through everything. Okay, you can follow along with on the video. So you're just going to need a piece of paper. Okay, and a pen, possibly a calculator as well. It depends how good your mental arithmetic is. Okay, I've got a calculator. So <clears throat> what we're going to do um, on the first first part? What I want you to do is write down at the top max heart rate. Okay, hopefully you can see this uh, on the page here. Now your max heart rate, okay, is 220 minus your age. Okay, let's put that up at the top there. So 220 minus your age, for me, that is 192. Okay, this is my theoretical maximum heart rate. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to take your resting heart rate, okay? So let's just write that down here. We're just going to put resting HR, okay? Now then, to calculate your resting heart rate, okay? There's two ways for you to do this. Okay, or well, three ways, I should say. Two ways to do it manually, okay, is with the carotid pulse here or the radial pulse on your wrist, okay? Most people find the neck much easier to get, okay? You're going to take two fingers, okay? Do not use your thumb because your thumb has a pulse in it itself, okay? So use your two fingers. Follow the line from your left nostril down past the side of your mouth, diagonal line, and into the little ridges here just next to the center of your throat. You will feel your pulse. Okay, now what I want you to do is preferably lie down, okay, or you can sit really nice and comfortable, okay, make sure you're leaning back on something. And we're going to measure your, your beats per minute, okay, so for one solid minute, we're going to count out your pulse, okay. So let me set a timer here, you can do it with me on the video, okay. I'll give you a few seconds just to make sure you can track down there, find your pulse, okay, or if you're doing it on your wrist, just in the centre here, again, use the two fingers, press in, and you'll feel your pulse. Okay? The third option, if you're cheating like me, is to wear a heart rate monitor. Okay? It goes across, and you can uh, see it on the watch. <laughs> Much easier. Okay, but if you haven't got one of those, take the neck. Right, so, stopwatch is going to start. Let me just put one minute timer on here. Okay, when you're ready, Start counting your beats, nice and calm, off you go. Just normal, rhythmical breathing all the way through. Don't hold your breath, just chill out, keep counting. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay. Take the number that you had there, okay? And we're gonna write it down on the sheet, okay? Resting heart rate. I did mine earlier with my watch. Um, and mine, 61 beats per minute, okay? Just over one a second. An average is about 75, okay? Obviously, the, the fitter that you become throughout the course of the program, then you'll see that resting heart rate coming down. That means that your heart is stronger, okay? It doesn't have to beat as many times to send that blood around your body.
Okay, so a good sign of the fitness. Right, now we've got your theoretical max heart rate, okay, minus 192, and a resting heart rate of 61. Okay, so now what we're going to do, okay, is write down HRR. This is your heart rate reserve, okay. All you're going to do now is take your max minus your resting, okay, so we're going to do 192 minus 61, okay, and that's my max minus my resting. That gives me a heart rate reserve of 131, okay. Obviously yours may be slightly different if you're not the same age as me and have the same resting heart rate. Okay, so now we've got our heart rate reserve. What we're going to work out is the percentages of that heart rate to give you your workout zones, okay, for your heart rate. So, next bit down the side of the page, what I want you to write is 65, 75, 85, okay, and this is in percent. These are the three bands that we are going to work with, okay. The first one... Is for your warm up. All right. The second one is fat burning zone. Okay. And the third one is the fitness zone. Okay. So 65, 75, 85. Now then, what we're going to do is your heart rate reserve that we worked out up here. Take a calculator. Let me get mine here. Hope you're still following along with me. I know it's slightly complicated, but once you've done it once, you may just need to watch the video one more time. Um, feel free to pause me whilst you're working out and then resume. <laughs> All right. So, calculator. We're going to take heart rate reserve, 131, multiplied by 65%. So do 0 0.65, and that equals... 85. Okay, same again for 75. 131 multiplied by 0 0.75 equals 98. Okay, and for the last one for the fitness zone, um, 131 multiplied by 0 0.85 equals 111. All right. So, not quite finished yet, one last bit to do. We are now going to add on to those, okay, our resting heart rate. So, plus 61, plus 61, plus 61. These now equal uh, 146, 159. <laughs> And 172. Okay, these three figures now are what we're working with. Okay, so when you're doing your exercise for your warm up, you'll be working at 146 beats per minute, or I will be. 75 for fat burning. If I wanted to stay in the fat burning zone, I would keep my heart rate around 159. And if I really wanted to improve my fitness, I'd take it up to 85% there and be working around 172 beats per minute. Okay, so I hope that made sense to you. And obviously when you're uh, doing a workout, if you're in a gym or a health club, uh, you can usually take your heart rate on the, on the machines themselves, okay, and you can keep checking every couple of minutes to see where you're at and adjust your intensity level to keep yourself inside those zones, okay. Alternative to that, heart rate monitor watch, with the strap, okay, and you can see exactly where you are. Me talking to you right now, you can possibly see if I get the angle right. Okay, constant diet. I'm up at I'm up at 93 already. Okay, so hope that helps. Take the piece of paper, rewind the video, watch it again if you need any help. If you do get stuck, just send me a message, okay, and I'll help you out.